Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick check of your forecast as we go into the rest of this next week. Major changes coming on through with a winter storm. The main portion of the storm is going to be passing north of us, but that's going to, not going to preclude from a lot of other things from happening, including the possibility of a pretty major cool down heading our direction as we go into the course of the rest of the next several days. So kids at the bus stop, you doing anything outdoors, uh, anything in the way of construction work, cleanup duties outside, anything in the way of outdoor activities, the temperatures are going to be the primary concern. Believe it or not, the temperatures are actually going to be the main weather story as we go into the next several days. The winter weather coming from, again, precipitation, that's not really going to be all that major out there. It is going to have an impact on us. There's no question about that, but we are going to see, again, less chances of, uh, chances of anything major taking place here. Uh, the new forecast model numbers not showing a great deal of, again, major amounts of anything accumulating, but that's not going to stop some slick conditions out across the Mid-South as we get into the next couple of days. So again, we'll have a lot to talk about on this. Now, once again, we cannot focus in on everybody's exact location. So if you ask questions about, well, what about uh, Crenshaw, Mississippi? What about Dyersburg? What about Forest City, Arkansas? What about Bartlett, Tennessee? I can't answer all those questions uh, in the comments section, unfortunately, so we're going to give you a generic roundabout idea as to what's going on as we go into the next couple of days. So stay tuned, and we'll uh, give you kind of a guide as to what may be happening. Can't stick around for the whole web experience here with weather overtime. Forecast in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, scrolling on by, or again, you can go to wreg.com slash weather for information on our extended forecast. All right, got a lot to talk about, so let's get started with a little bit of weather information for those of you who keep track of the Almanac. Just shy of 60 degrees today. Not bad for this time of the year. you got to admit, for late January, that's pretty nice. 35 degrees right above our average. No precipitation today. Still ahead for the year and the month. Looking pretty good out there. Again, about an inch and a, and a third or so above there for right now. Quick check of the forecast for overnight. Should be mainly clear through about midnight and into around tomorrow morning. The clouds start to increase. That's the cloud cover heading down from the north and from the west. So we will be looking for more of those clouds coming into the area, getting into very early tomorrow morning. Winds will remain out of the southwest, so that's why the temperatures are not going to drop that much. Should be a little chilly for the kids at the bus stop. We'll take a look at that forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Lori Hubanks, 39 degrees in Reagan, Tennessee. Uh, thank you very much for that weather report. If you've got weather reports out there, again, drop them into the comments section. Let's see temperature, wind speed, and a city-state location. Don't have to give us your entire mailing address, but again, thank you for trusting us with that on there. But again, uh, drop anything you li like in there. And if you don't want the snowfall, put that in the, for in the comments section. Let's see how many people out there are anti-winter and rooting for springtime. Our own Nina Harrelson uh, is one of those people who's ready for spring out there, believe it or not, for right now. Currently on the Hilton East Memphis camera, light to moderate traffic for Saturday night or Sunday night into tonight as dry conditions continue from Saturday into Sunday. So no big problems being seen here. There is some construction work and cleanup going on at I-240 and Poplar for tonight with some yellow lights out there. Now for the rest of the evening, not seeing anything on Storm Tracker 3S radar, so good news on that. We do have a little bit of moisture down to our south into portions of eastern Mississippi, western Alabama, a little bit farther over into around the Gulf Coast states, getting some more showers into around Florida and up the east coast, all the way up to around just off of Chesapeake Bay. That's not going to be amounting to much of anything, but back to the north of us, Iowa and into the Great Plains states in the northern parts of the plains, this is our next weather maker coming on through. And again, it's going to be dropping a lot of this into the northern plains area. So basically everything north of I-70 is picking up some problems uh, into for this evening. And that's going to be problems for you if you're going to be traveling late tonight, heading, say, north of St. Louis toward Chicago and over into and around the Plain States area. So something to consider if you're moving that direction. Now, the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory. This may be new information for you. It was issued just a couple of hours ago. It is not in effect just yet. It will go into an effect Tuesday at midnight. So why issue it on a Sunday night? Well, again, to let 
you know about what's going on. So the National Weather Service can inform as many people ahead of time as to what's happening, when this will go into effect. That's important. And again, McNary County in Tennessee, northern Mississippi is going to be the primary target. These advisories are issued as sort of a blanket statement for different types of precipitation. You could issue a snow advisory, a wind chill advisory, a freezing rain advisory, a sleet advisory, or you could just issue a winter weather advisory. Easy peasy, no problem at all. So this right here covers things over quite nicely. But again, right now, metro area, most of southwest Tennessee, eastern Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, and Tunica and DeSoto counties in Mississippi not included in this. As that storm system passes us by to the north, this is going to be the main target area for the potential of winter weather and where we could see the most slick conditions coming up early Tuesday morning after all the precipitation has left the area. Could this change? Absolutely. If the storm system wobbles a little bit and the path changes to where we pick up more precipitation coming on through, we could see more counties added to this, including the metro area. It doesn't look that way for right now, but that is a very good possibility. And again, that may change between now and tomorrow morning. Todd Demers has got a complete forecast update for you bright and early tomorrow morning on daybreak. Back to the north of us for tonight. Got a lot more activity going on, including a lot of winter storm warnings happening into and around areas close to the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, back to around St. Paul, Chicago, parts of Wisconsin, and Michigan picking up some pretty good activity there. And at this time where the storm system is going to be at its worst, we have blizzard warnings in effect way back up into the northern Plains state. So this is going to be the main threat area. We're going to see a kind, of, a kind of some after effects more than anything else. It does not look to be huge, but it does still look to be a problem. So again, traveling north tonight could be running into a lot of problems north of I-70 the farther north that you go. Temperatures in the Mid-South right now, a beautiful day back into the mid-40s right now. Winds are currently calm and mainly southerly winds. That's going to help to keep the temperatures up throughout the rest of the night so it won't be quite as frigid into tomorrow. But hang on because we've got some big changes coming on through. Rest of this evening, we're going to focus in just on tonight through tomorrow for this forecast. And then we'll get into detail about the storm coming up in just a little bit. Western Tennessee, eastern Arkansas, northern Mississippi and Shelby County located right through here. So that's kind of a benchmark area for where we go through. And again, the Mississippi River right here for areas east and west on that. So if you can find your general location here, that'll be an idea as to what's going on with the forecast for right now. Through tonight into about midnight, mid to upper 30s, although some lower 40s possible. And those southerly winds, the moving lines on screen, that's where we see, again, the temperatures staying up by just a bit. And through tomorrow morning, about daybreak, Again, nothing much going on at this time. Chilly, those winds out of the south, stabilizing the temperatures, so not much happening there. And through tomorrow morning, late morning into around lunchtime, not a great deal going on except for some rain chances coming our way. And the winds into tomorrow are still going to be out of the south-southwest. So that's going to keep the temperatures close to 60 tomorrow, but we've got a big fall coming as we go into the rest of the forecast. All right, timing things out into tomorrow evening. Again, mainly rain chances from the time the kids get out of school through rush hour and dinner time tomorrow night. As we go into mid-evening, that colder air undercuts the moisture. The moisture moving on through, that cold air slams into the area, changes that moisture into some form of a wintry type mix of precipitation, rain, snow, maybe a little bit of sleet mixed in there, depending on how sharp the temperature decides to turn on over. A couple good things about this system. Number one, it's a fast moving system. So that means it's not going to be sticking around for a while and dropping more precipitation. The faster these things move through, the less we get out of them. And that's what this one appears to be. Add to that, yes, there is going to be moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. No, it does not appear to be a huge amount. So for right now, uh, some fairly good news out there for the time being, but we're still going to get something out of this system for right now. By about News Channel 3 at 10, again, that mixture over to snow makes its way along and south of I-40 and moving east of the Mississippi River, passing on through the area toward about midnight or so, things start to wrap up as we get into around Tuesday morning. That should be about it for the precipitation as it heads out of the picture. And by daybreak on Tuesday morning, 
it's basically all over with. There's not much of anything left outside of maybe some flurries, maybe even some sunshine on Tuesday morning, although it's going to be a very cold sunshine. No question about that. All right, big question right now. What are we getting and where and how much? And again, there are several computer models we use for this. This is just one computer model to give you an idea as to what we're looking at. Same agreement from the National Weather Service at this point in time. A couple days ago, the bullseye was more over Shelby County and the center part of the News Channel 3 viewing area for maybe about anywhere between two to four inches on some of the more generous computer models out there. These computer models are showing the possibility of the main target area Again, right where that winter weather advisory is taking place. So northwest Mississippi, southwest Tennessee, basically east of the Mississippi River and along and south of I-40. Now, again, less than anything in the way of a major chance of anything in the way of winter weather, west Tennessee, south of the Boot Hill, eastern Arkansas, mainly looking at about one inch or less at this point in time. And again, could be a variation between that in that narrow zone right there. So southeast Arkansas through northwest Tennessee, looks like we are going to get something. And there could be some variations on this to where we get as little as a dusting, but maybe around an inch and a half in some places that pick up a snowburst or two. And that's typical. That's normal. That's not faulty forecasting. That, again, is how winter weather works anywhere on the planet. You could wind up with a foot of snow in your backyard. Not going to happen here, but you could wind up with a lot of snow in your backyard. Block and a half away, your neighbor gets a dusting, and that's about it. The variations in there, this is just a generic forecast to give you an idea as to what's going to be seen across much of the area. So northern Mississippi, southwest Tennessee, that's going to be the main target area for picking up, again, some precipitation out there for the time being. And then less and less the farther back you go to the northwest. So this is going to be a pretty short, sharp shock of winter weather. And then it's going to be all over with within about a 12-hour period. So this does not look to be a blizzard. It does not look to be anything in the way of, again, a lot of snowfall out there. It does look like a problem for the Mid-South, especially for travel, which is why that advisory has been issued. So we are going to get something, and travel is going to be slowed down on Tuesday morning. So definitely a time to prepare for that right now. Extra time on the commute, extra paying attention to Corey Ventura on Time Saver Traffic, and also on the state DOT websites would be an excellent idea at this point in time, uh, just for safety's sake out there. Again, if you're if it's icy in the morning on Tuesday, and let's say your commute is about 20 minutes. Multiply that times a factor of three. Take an hour to go someplace. Just have a nice little leisurely drive in. Try to stay on the flattest road surface that you can. Try to avoid bridges and overpasses. That's going to come in very, very handy. And try to make certain that you arrive safely in what could be a mess of a travel situation coming up as we go into and around Tuesday morning. We'll keep you updated here on News Channel 3. This map will change. Good bet we're going to see some up and down amounts as we go into tomorrow. So again, Todd Demers forecast in the morning. Definitely want to tune in to see what's going on. And Tim and Jim will have more coming up tomorrow afternoon. Believe it or not, the biggest weather story of this event is not going to be the snow. It's going to be the drop in temperature. This is a major slam of Arctic air, and it's going to be affecting our temperatures in a very big way. Numbers for noon tomorrow, temperatures back in the 50s, even around 60 degrees south of I-40 into southeast Arkansas and northern Mississippi. Watch what happens. I'm going to put this into motion, and we're going to wind up into tomorrow on Tuesday morning. These are just the air temperatures. That's just the regular temperatures measured without any wind out there, and numbers by Tuesday morning will be severely colder, some 40 degrees colder than what they were at noon on Monday. So a major slam of Arctic air coming on through, along with some breezy northwesterly winds. We could see some wind chills in the Mid-South area on Tuesday morning around or below zero. So that's going to be very dangerous for kids waiting at the school bus stop that are not properly dressed. Get ready for this now if you have kids. Make certain that they are properly dressed and ready to go to wait in what is going to be some pretty brutal conditions as we get into Tuesday morning. Will there be school cancellations? Possibly. Do we have any yet? No. Will we announce them? Yes. You can pick them up again at WREG.com at our main website. And if we do get any, we will announce them again on News Channel 3. 
on News Channel 3 at 10 Monday night or on Tuesday morning. We'll bring you the information. Just keep it tuned for more. But right now, Sunday night at about 8.17 or so, 8.18, we don't have anything in the way of anything called in. So right now, if you're a student and you're watching, yes, you do have school tomorrow. Tuesday, that may be an entirely different scenario. Uh, at this point in time. So looking again at some changes out there. Okay, R rounding out the forecast on the seven day, <clears throat> excuse me, temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow, starting off mostly cloudy, rain showers develop into the afternoon, changing over that rain snow mixture as the temperatures head down by about supper time and snowfall possible by News Channel 3 at 10. By midnight, it's snow. By daybreak on Tuesday, it's gone. And high temperatures on Tuesday will only hit the lower 30s. Temperatures in the metro should be back in the lower 20s, north of I-40, easily back in the teens on Tuesday morning, and it gets even colder than that because on Wednesday, temperatures will be back below freezing all day long. Yes, we will get some sunshine out of this. No, it's not going to warm up anytime soon. We're going to be getting back toward normal, about the lower 50s or so as we go toward that furry fake forecaster day coming up on February 2nd, along with another chance for some rain changing over to some form of snow Thursday into Friday. This one looks like a pipsqueak compared to the storm system Monday night into Tuesday. So this one right here, not even really on the radar, so to speak, bad weather pun right there, but another chance of rainfall coming up as we go into February. And as we look at the extended forecast, this gets kind of interesting because looking back toward the first full week of February, there are signs we could be looking at some pretty soggy conditions out there with not only some heavy rainfall, but also, if everything works, some very mild temperatures. Early February in the mid-60s, that's way out of character for this time of the year, so we'll see how well that works out there. And, of course, don't forget about a true American holiday compared to this rubbish right here, National Weather Person's Day, just throwing it out there for everybody, February 5th, to make certain you got that on your calendar to tell your favorite weather forecaster and or meteorologist. Again, a happy National Weather Person's Day. That's February 5th coming up, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Mark your calendars. Always great to be informed about stuff like that. All right, severe weather, not seeing anything like that, but the first meetings for Skywarn training have been announced by the National Weather Service in Memphis. Skywarn is a volunteer organization. You can take part in this. It is totally free. You show up to the classes. You take it. It's about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many questions are asked and answered. And then you become the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service. And the more people we have watching waiting and observing what happens, the safer we all are because your information could help save lives. That's as basic as it gets right there. If you see something happening, you call the National Weather Service, you fill out a storm report online, they can take that information and tell people where the storm is moving, what may be coming their way. So your information could help save lives. If you'd like to know more about this, head to my social media web pages or weather.gov slash M-E-G, that's the three-letter designator for the National Weather Service in Memphis, or just go to weather.gov and click on the Mid-South area on the big United States map, and it'll take you directly to that location. Personal aside, thank you very much to all the personnel and meteorologists and hydrologists and everybody at the National Weather Service in Memphis and everybody at NOAA for working their way through the government shutdown and keeping us safe by their actions. Thank you, a very heartfelt thank you to everybody at the National Weather Service for doing what they did out there. All right, one more check of the forecast for tomorrow, getting the kids on the school bus area for right now. Again, temperatures tomorrow a bit chilly, but not bad. It'll be a little breezy out there, and rainfall chances will increase as we go toward tomorrow afternoon. So the kids may not need an umbrella going to school, heading home from school. It's a good bet. There are going to be showers out there, and it's also going to be very windy. So Hang on to that umbrella and make certain that poncho is securely attached because we could be looking at some very windy conditions out there as we go into the next day or two. Country 92.5, oldies 102.3. Stay tuned for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. And I'll be on with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on Talk Back Live on AM 730 and AM 1600 with your complete forecast update. Can't get them on air Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Sports chat extraordinaire for the Mid-South area starting Monday through Friday, 6 to 8 a.m. 
soon to be on the FM dial. Not yet. When it happens, we'll let you know, so stay tuned again for more on that. We'll update you on the forecast. Again, we got a lot to change on the computer models possibly in the next couple of hours, so stay tuned for my report coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. Todd Demers has more on his forecast tomorrow on Daybreak. And, of course, Tim and Jim will lead you into things as we go into Monday night. Very important to stay informed first and foremost, and that's what we do here to let you know about what's going on. The best thing you can do is stay informed, and that's what we can help you, again, learn a little bit more about the weather and what the situation is by timing things out. We're glad to help. Again, we'll be, again, keeping you updated on air and online into the course of the next 24 to 48 hours as this new winter weather system moves on through. Questions, concerns, comments, anything that you missed on here, Skywarn meetings, climate data, anything like that, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com or Again, find me on social media. I'm out there someplace. You'll find me eventually at that point in time. But again, we'll have a complete report coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned for more on that. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 over the next couple of days, live and direct from downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of Weather Overtime. Got a lot more to talk about as the storm approaches, so stick around for more with News Channel 3.